So briefly, I would like to say a word or two about Slovenia, which is a bit smaller than Egypt and uh, Brazil. It has two million people living there altogether. Uh, with our main uh, city and capital, Ljubljana, of uh, 300,000 people. Uh, I was speaking with David yesterday, and he said that about 300,000 people commute with him on the train to, to his office every morning. <laughs> okay, so Slovenia has entered into EU in 2004. Uh, we adopted the Euro in 2007. Uh, we are also part of OECD and the Schengen area, which is um, a bit dysfunctional lately, but I think it's going to get there. Um, and uh, we also speak, we like to joke around about this uh, kind of secret language, because we speak Slovenian language, which only two million people, or not even that, speak it. So uh, whenever we go abroad, nobody can, can understand us. Uh, okay, but enough of the jokes. Uh, Slovenia has a very good strategic position uh, in the region. Uh, it borders uh, Italy on the west, to the west, uh, Austria to the north, and Croatia and Hungary to the east. Uh, so our road system is very well developed. Uh, there are highways all over the place, and uh, we also have access to, to international waters, which Croatians might dispute. Uh, but anyway, uh, there is a good connection between our main port uh, and, and other neighboring countries. Uh, so this is a very important um, infrastructure that we have. Uh, we, because of the fact that uh, the Slovenia is one of the smallest countries uh, represented here and uh, our market is fairly small, uh, we actually um, provide services and mostly work with foreign clients. Uh, we represent foreign clients in um, FDIs, so uh, in, in investing in Slovenia. Uh, we've been quite successful in doing so. Um, a lot, a lot of US, UK, German, French investors, uh, also Russian and Chinese investors have entered Slovenia in the past several years. Uh, there are a lot of uh, interesting projects uh, going on in Slovenia. Um, for example, uh, our largest uh, commercial bank will soon be on sale. Uh, our largest um, transportation company um, is almost on sale. Um, also, um, some several uh, hospitality businesses, um, and I can go on. Um, but uh, actually, um, what um, has been very interesting is that um, we have had um, more and more Chinese investors coming to Slovenia uh, by the by the year because uh, every year um, because um, as explained before because we are small not a lot of people know about us uh, and what Uros and I are trying to do actually our whole law firm is trying to do is uh, we are engaging or we are, we are letting a lot of foreign investors know about Slovenia, about the opportunity in, Slo in, in Slovenia. We have a lot of natural resources, a lot of natural beauties, and uh, we have uh, been notifying those uh, potential investors and our current clients about the opportunities in Slovenia and uh, have been quite successful in obtaining such investments into Slovenia. Um, I would like to show you also some of our natural beauties, uh, so, oh sorry, uh, some of our natural beauties, and as we like to kid, uh, we can ski and swim in the same time. If it was uh, cold enough to have snow in the winter, uh, in, in the summer, or if the water was uh, warm enough in the winter. Uh, it takes us about two hours to get from our ski resorts uh, to the seaside. Um, one other important thing is that uh, I'm sure many of you still know that Slovenia was a part of uh, ex-Yugoslavia. We had the communist, communist system back then. Um, Yugoslavia uh, had the system where, where all of the companies were state-owned, most of the companies were state-owned. And in 1991, when we became independent, uh, first wave of privatization took place. So actually each of, of the nationals was given a certificate which was exchangeable for shares in such companies. Of course, the state retained uh, 
a lot of uh, strategically important companies uh, which are on sale now. So, um, as explained before, there are a lot of opportunities which uh, we would like to um, present them to you if we had more time. Um, our firm has also uh, prepared a list of investment opportunities, which we also discussed with several of you. Uh, and uh, we would like to share it with you so you can share it, pass it along with your potential, uh, with your clients, because I'm sure we can find something and cooperate on a project very soon. I would like to pass the microphone over to Uros uh, to present our law firm a little bit. Hi. As Jan said, my name is Uros. I've met many of you, and I hope to meet you all by, by tomorrow or Thursday. Uh, okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain you a bit about our firm. Uh, we are based in Ljubljana, which is the capital of Slovenia. We are a business and corporate law firm, a full service law firm. Currently, we have 15 uh, lawyers working for us but uh, this number is increasing uh, on a monthly basis. Um, our main practice areas are M&A, corporate law, IP, litigation, restructuring, insolvency and bankruptcy, tax law, employment. Uh, so as, as, as mentioned, we are a full service law firm. Um, our clients do businesses in variety of industries, such as advertising, banking and finance, energy, IT, health, hospitality, pharmaceuticals, real estate, retail, telecommunications, transport, and many others. Uh, we were recognized by Legal 500 as one of the leading firms in Slovenia, as well as by uh, IF, uh, IFLR uh, uh, LR 1000 as one of the recognized law firms in Slovenia. We are also a corporate responsible firm, not just because it's popular to be one, but because we really care about those values. Uh, now we'd like to present our managing part. I would like to present you to our managing partner, uh, Jan Sibincic. He is uh, head of corporate and M&A department in our office. He graduated with honors uh, in 2007, worked in, in one of the big uh, fours and other domestic consulting firms. He obtained uh, the license to act as trustee in insolvency proceedings. He advises primarily on M&A transactions and restructurings. He is advising on numerous domestic and in, in international clients, and he was recognized uh, as a leading lawyer by International Financial Law Review. Okay, so it's my turn to present Uros. Uh, just one, one more word. Uh, our firm has two partners, that's uh, Uros and, and uh, myself. Uh, I believe that uh, we're going to get many more partners because we're very proud of our team. Uh, they're very good and, um, of course, it takes some time for a person to reach to a partner level. Um, our firm was actually incorporated uh, in 2015 by a merger of Uroš's previous law firm and my law firm. So we are a fairly lo young law firm. Um, we don't have 20 years experience, but uh, we have a lot of enthusiasm and uh, we try to, we, we actually always do our best and uh, try to um, uh, to, 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 to pass this lack of 20 plus years experience with our passion. Okay, so Uros is a co-managing partner. Uh, he leads the corporate uh, litigation department. Uh, after graduation, he, he obtained his LLM in uh, Utrecht, which is in the Netherlands. Um, he also worked at uh, the top tier law firm before he opened his own law firm. Um, and uh, he mostly advises foreign clients and he wins impossible cases. That is true, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so our corporate values of our firm are, we are definitely a corporate responsible firm. Um, we try to reach globally. Uh, which we work with high quality. Uh, we have a personal approach towards our clients. We know practically every domestic client. We try to meet all of the foreign clients as well. Uh, responsiveness and teamwork are the, our last corporate values. 
ask it. We have gone through the key practices, um, but I would especially like to point out one of, of uh, the um, most recent practices that we took over, which is uh, technology of the future. Our firm is also a part of the think tank, blockchain think tank in uh, Slovenia. Uh, we are active in preparing the <coughs> legislation, uh, which we hope to implement by the end of the year. Um, but, uh, well, I think it's realistic. Anyway, uh, we have a lot of good engineers in Slovenia, a lot of good computer programmers, and um, they have been raising their funds in Silicon Valley quite successfully, in London quite successfully, and uh, ever since the possibility of uh, initial coin offerings and raising funds uh, in that way, uh, they have, uh, Slovenia has decided to promote itself also on, on uh, that field, on that level. So uh, we're trying to help our government uh, to push this legislation through as soon as possible uh, to make it favorable in terms of attracting foreign uh, clients, foreign companies to, to invest in Slovenia because we believe this is the future and uh, as things are changing so rapidly, we believe this is going to be very, very soon. Um, Okay, we have also um, been notified that we still ha we have another minute. Uh, so um, I would like to uh, thank Orlando uh, for inviting us to Abu Dhabi. Uh, I would like to say that uh, we have um, met, we have uh, spoken with, with many of you since yesterday and we already feel like a part of the family and uh, we're very grateful to be here and uh, hope to cooperate with as many of you as possible uh, in the future. So thank you very much.